Hello, my friend. Welcome today to your baptism experience. In the next few moments, you're going to take your next steps in the journey of a new birth experience. You'll be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, according to Acts chapter 2, verse 38 in the New Testament. Now, what is remission of sins? It is forgiveness. It is removal. Now, let's look at it this way. A little boy sits at the table and his mother pours him a tall glass of red Kool-Aid. He reaches for that glass, but he tips it over. And to his horror, it begins to spill on the brand new white carpet. He is ashamed. He cries out to his mother to forgive him. She walks over and embraces him in a comforting hug and lets him know, yes, my son, you're forgiven. But she still has to find the stain remover or call a professional to come in and get those red stains out of that white carpet. Well, that's baptism today, friend. Whenever you ask God to forgive you, it was in the last few minutes or sometime in your recent history. Yes, he forgave you, but the stains of sin are still there. And that's why we want to baptize you today in the waters of baptism so that those stains of sin can be forever removed. And the reason that we baptize in the name of Jesus Christ is because Acts 4 and 12 tells us that there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So there's no alternative route. He's not a choice on a multiple choice list. There's one name and that name is the name of Jesus. It's the door of deliverance. It's the password of liberty, if you will. It's the secret code of salvation. And so today, my friend, just like they did in Acts chapter 8 among Samaritans, Acts chapter 10 in a household of Cornelius, Acts chapter 19 in the upper coasts of Ephesus when a group of disciples discussed baptism with Apostle Paul. In every one of these historical events, they were all baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And in the near future, my friend, we would love to have a more in-depth Bible study with you concerning this apostolic doctrine. But for now, the most important thing you need to know and understand is that today is like a spiritual bath. When you go up these stairs in a few moments, you go to your dressing room, and you put on that robe, and you enter into our filtered water of the baptistry, and we immerse you, baptize you. The Greek word for baptize is baptizo, to submerse. It's where we get the modern day submarine from because it goes all the way under. We are buried by baptism into his death. So it's a type of his burial. So today, my friend, when you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you're gonna exercise your faith. You're gonna take on the family name. And once again, it's gonna be like a spiritual bath. You're gonna get rid of the mud of your past. You're gonna get rid of the stains of sin. You're gonna get rid of the filth of the flesh and become a new creation in Christ according to the word of God. So my friend, let's get ready. Let's take our next steps right now and let's have a glorious baptism experience. And when you come out of that water, feel free to lift your hands to the Lord and receive the glorious gift of the Holy Ghost because you're gonna speak with other tongues as the Spirit gives the utterance just like they did in Acts chapter two. So let's go, my friend, and let's make history today for the name of Jesus.